welcome back to our channel. My name is Jordi and this is Hekyo. Two years ago we quit our jobs and left our home in South Korea to do one of the things we like the most, to travel. We have been backpacking for the past two years and we still didn't get tired. Maybe it's because instead of rushing to sightseeing spots, we prefer to travel slow, stay as long as we can in a place and learn how life is there. Rather than as visitors, we prefer to experience new places as locals. We don't plan much ahead and we are always welcoming new opportunities. One of these opportunities was spending a few weeks in a city that we always wanted to visit. Well, not just visiting, but to experience the daily life. Welcome to our new series. We are the Lifetime Travel Mates and this is living in Singapore for one month. For whatever reasons you're visiting Singapore, you have to try Singaporean food. One of the best ways to have a glimpse of its diverse cuisine, blending Malay, Chinese, Indonesian, Indian, and Western influences, is to visit any hawker center nearby. Hawker center is an open-air complex housing many stalls that sell a variety of affordable food. The Hawker Center in Singapore has been an integral part of the way of life for Singaporeans where people gather at Hawker Center to dine and bond over their favorite food. On today's episode, we are going to visit Zion Food Center and try some of its special dishes. Zion Riverside Food Center, also known as Zion Road Food Center, is a hawker center located directly opposite Great World City along the Singapore River. It might not be one of those biggest or popular hawker centers that might show up when you search on the internet, but that doesn't mean that the quality of food here is not as good as the one in the others. As soon as you walk in, you will be overwhelmed by the variety of foods. When we were here, it was during weekdays and there were not many people in the hawker center. So it was not as lively as we expected, but the good thing was we didn't need to queue long to get food. The first thing that will catch your attention is the popular prawn noodle from Nu Cheng Adam Road Big Prawn Mei. This food stall is a branch of the original one at Adam Road. It serves both dry and soup versions of their signature prawn noodle from $6 onwards. The size and the number of the prawns get larger with the prices. Thank you. We recommend you to start with the smallest one because you want to try other food as well. You can already smell the sea. Oh my god, the broth is so deep. Oh. So here uh, is prawn noodle, but there are like five or four or five prawns and then a chunk of meat here. And next, we recommend you to try no, no, is that one, braised duck rice set meal from the Boon Tong Ki Kwai Chap braised duck. So sorry, but you cannot smell how good it smells here. It's happening. Here, yeah, here, yeah. yes. This place has the same name as the famous Boon Tong Ki chicken rice. This stall doesn't sell chicken rice at all. Instead, they are famous for their duck rice and Kwai Chap, which is thick, broad sheets of rice, noodles in soup. But this time we decided to try only the braised duck rice set menu. Mm. Oh, the texture is so soft. It, it just breaks. Do you see this? Wow. I think this sauce is so soft. Let's try this braised duck. It's not duck. I think this is pork. Are you 
sure? Right. Seriously? You know how it tastes that? That is more like chicken. I'm not an expert in flavors, but look at this. Could be that I did a mistake and I said pork, or could be that they did a mistake. Try this one. Try that piece right right in front of you. It, it looks more like a dumpling. Yeah, it's dark. It's dark. Come on. <coughs> this feels more like a But this? Could be, no? You order something and they give you something different? It wouldn't be the first time that happened. Still, it's good. It's delicious. Yeah. So, this is 3.5 Singaporean dollars. Some rice, some meat, you know, the veggies, the sauce. It's up to you. And this soup that it's very strong. Some herbs. It's almost like tea. It's very herbal. It's like really strong. This is definitely some medicine herb or something. Uh, they, they probably boil the meat from here. Ooh. If those two dishes didn't satisfy you, we guarantee Xin Fei Fei wonton noodle will please you with its signature wonton mei and fried wontons. From the long queue in front of the food store, we could instantly notice that this place would not disappoint us. Soyabean curd from the house of soyabean. Soyabean curd is a popular traditional dessert that originates from China. Simply called soy pudding, this dessert is super popular in Singapore and it's served well chilled. We have coney sea coconut and taro. First, I'm gonna try this one, the coney sea coconut. It's not bad, but it's not what I want to say. It's not yogurt, not as sweet as yogurt, it's a bit, a bit savory, yeah. And this honey sea coconut, I thought it would be tasting more like coconut, but it's more like melon or some fruit like that, like dried fruit. It's a bit hard. Fruity. Not bad, but not my number one. So? Interesting. Interesting means you don't like it. I don't know, this is fugu got the best Yeah, it's soybean. Fugu got ta. It's soybean. Not my favorite. Okay. And then the taro. Look at this. I don't know if it's originally sweet or so good, so good. Oh man, I already feel the, the sweetness. Of I think they put some coconut milk also here. They put the same. But this one has the taro flavor already all around. Uh, I'm in love with taro. Very nice. Wow. Next one is another popular traditional Singaporean dessert. This one right here is. The one on the left is called Ching Tang. Ching Tang means clear soup, and this sets it apart from the other rich creamy dessert like this. If you want to know what it is, here you are. Not that sweet. It's naturally sweet. It's very refreshing because of the ice, of course. I'm gonna try the lychee. If you like lychee, you're gonna love it. Then I'm gonna try the other one. Yeah, it's warm, it's a bit weird. Warm at this point. I don't believe it. It's a bit weird with this hot weather, summer, eating the dessert with this hot. Very sweet. And you feel the cinnamon flavor. Very delicious. These are our recommendations from Zion Food Center. We highly recommend you to try any hawker centers nearby. It doesn't have to be one of those popular ones to try tasty local food with affordable price. Thanks for watching. If you like this episode, help us and click the like button and subscribe. Don't forget the notification bell so you won't miss any episode. Leave a comment with your opinion, questions, ideas, whatever you want. You can also support this channel buying Lifetime Travelmates merchandising. 
you can find a big variety of products designed by ourselves and inspired by our travel stories. Make sure you check the link on the description. And if you also want to become house sitters like us, we have been using trusted house sitters. You can check so many opportunities all around the world taking care of pets, being with them in a real home, and experiencing the local life like we do. Check the link on the description. There is also a mobile app for trusted house sitters to make all the communication and managing the profile and all more conveniently. And if you like the music on this episode, we use Epidemic Sound for all our videos. It's an amazing tool for video creators to find the right soundtrack, background music and sound effects. You can get 30 days free trial following the link on the description down below. Again, thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Today we are in Zion Center for Zion. Zion? Zion? Anyway, we're gonna try a few foods here in this center. Are you, are you ready to try them? No. Come join us, let's go.